right now for Dan Curry. Dan Curry. Hey, make some noise for all the people you've seen so far, everybody. My wife wanted to take a class called Painting with a Twist. Uh, I googled what the twist is. Turns out the twist is drinking. I was like, oh, I've been driving with a twist for years. There's no classes for me. At least not until I get caught. Then you have a couple classes you gotta take. Can I give you your license back? My grandma just turned 92 years old, everybody. 92, yeah. I'll let her know you guys plans. Uh, I found out when you turn 92, people stop saying happy birthday, and they start saying congratulations. Her birthday cake just said holy shit on it. That's all it said. No candles though, we don't want her to hurt herself trying to blow those things out. We had a party for her and all our friends that are left. And we had jello at this party, because old people, you know. And uh, I had some jello and I realized it was the first time I had jello without alcohol in it in 10 years. I was like, this jello's weak as shit, Grandma. I thought we were trying to fucking party. I do drink a lot. Yeah. Trying not to drink so much, it's tough, you know? There's always a reason to drink, comedy night, whatever you're doing. My wife was like, let's go one week without having a beer. Let's just try one week without a drink. I was like, well, Wednesday's Charlie's birthday. We at least have to have one beer. I mean, he's our dog. What <laughs> kind of assholes would we be? Everybody wants to drink with you, you know? Like, everybody always wants to drink with you. I was doing a show in a small town outside of Cadillac, Michigan for six people. <laughs> After the show, this guy comes up and goes, man, I loved your jokes. You want to do a shot or two for the road? <laughs> I was like, man, I can't. I got to drive back to my hotel. He was like, it's cool. I'm the cop. <laughs> it was just me out there tonight, buddy. He's got <laughs> Just gotta look out for deer, it'll be a good time. <laughs> I love drinking craft beers, I'm not a fan of those. The great, but you gotta be careful. Some of them are like 12 to 16% alcohol. It's insane, it's more than like wine and shit. Like, I bet you Alcoholics Anonymous is much different because of those. Like, in the past, people were probably like, I can't stop drinking a fifth of Jameson a day. Now, people are probably like, Dark Decadent Chocolate Stout ruined my life. <laughs> So dangerous and delicious. I was drinking three shanties before I hit the sidewalk every morning. It's, it's wild. <laughs> oh man. I, uh, I'm a lazy person. Anybody else lazy? I never get a lot of energy on that response, by the way. It's never like, oh, I'm fucking lazy. You know? It's never started a chant or anything. You ever meet somebody who's jealous that you're lazy? I'm like, what'd you do this weekend? Like, oh, I was laying around, watched some movies. I go, oh, I wish that I could do that. I'm like, you can. <laughs> it is literally the easiest thing to do. Just take your to-do list and don't. That's it. <laughs> One step. But I don't always like being lazy, so I was like, maybe I'll start drinking coffee. Start drinking coffee, realizes it gives me energy, but it doesn't give me motivation to do anything. So I just lay in bed, anxious about all the shit I'm not getting done. That's all. It's like, you know, I have so much to do and the bees are dying. Like, I know. I do have a severe anxiety disorder. Uh, it gives me a lot of fears. Uh, my biggest fear is snakes. Uh, my wife's biggest fear is spiders. I'm glad I got snakes and not spiders. Because spiders are everywhere. <laughs> Could you imagine if snakes were as prevalent as spiders? Be careful in my basement, man. It's an old house. There are snakes everywhere. <laughs> like the goddamn Temple of Doom down there. I don't know if they're... <laughs> Maybe their skins in the rafters. It's... it's not good. Did you guys know that every year while you're sleeping, you eat eight snakes in your sleep? <laughs> you don't even know. Gain 10 pounds eating snakes. <laughs> I do have weird fears too. My weird fear is that when I'm driving on the highway, that there's someone in my back seat. And I always forget that I have this fear until I've been driving for 10 or 15 minutes. I'm afraid to take my eyes off the road to check back there and look. So what I've been doing, I've just been yelling shit to catch the guy on the guard. 
<laughs> as we drive down the road, like, I know you're back there! <laughs> Reveal yourself! Just, uh, just trying to get him to jump or something. <laughs> but it doesn't work, because he's not back there. But my brain doesn't accept that. So what I've been doing, I've been trying more subtle things to catch him off guard. Like, I'm like, going to McDonald's, do you want anything? <laughs> The day I hear, like, some fries would be nice. Goddamn <laughs> heart attack, man. <laughs> if you have a weird fear and you talk, we talk about the show, do not tell me what it is. Because it will become my weird fear. My friend went to a theater show. During her intermission, she fe felt something in her boot. Went to the bathroom, took out her, her, off her boot. There was a bat in her boot. <laughs> She told me that story and I wore sandals for two years. <laughs> People were like, it's December, aren't you cold? I'm like, yeah, but at least don't have rabies. <laughs> what are you talking about? You ever go to a theater show and found a bat in your boot? They're like, oh my god, no, have you? And I'm like, no. What happened to my friend Samantha? <laughs> uh, I do have to get out of here soon. I, uh, I've been married for about a year married for a year. Uh, very exciting. I'm glad that I'm married because I don't have to have casual sex anymore. Uh, first off, I hate that term, casual sex. It makes me feel like it's Friday and you're allowed to wear khaki jeans, you know? <laughs> Second, nothing's casual about sex with strangers. It's like boundaries, you don't really know each other. The sex my wife and I have, that's casual. <laughs> Sometimes we leave our socks on. Sometimes we eat tacos before <laughs> or after or both. We love this television show, Archer. We think it's so funny. We leave it on while we have sex and laugh at the jokes while I'm inside of it. That is cash. If you haven't seen Archer, you should check it out. You'll laugh to your comment. I'm glad this went well, because you guys are kind of like the first people I've talked to all day. I don't know if you've ever done that. You kind of like hang out at your house, don't really talk to anybody. Then you go into the world at like six or seven at night. Your own voice kind of scares you. <laughs> Jerry Houston. Like, welcome to Downs, I'm gonna help you. Chicken! <laughs> McDonald's chicken! <laughs> the guy in the back's like, don't forget my fries. <laughs> you knew you were bad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have fun the rest of the night. You were awesome.